family? What's up with it? Hey, it is uh, June the 20th. Today is Monday. It's 10:24 in the a.m. and I feel good today. And I so today was my day. I said, you know what? Before it get all hot and shit, because today is gonna be a hundred. It's supposed to get up to a hundred and twenty. But in um, but I'm hoping it's gonna probably stay around one nine, one ten, something to that. But it's hot right now. Even at ten o'clock in the morning, it's in the nineties already. Okay, so a motherfucker like me is gonna get out the way. That's all I know to do. I uh, I got. I'm gonna cut this AC and shit on. Um, I'm gonna go out here and go water my harvest and shit before it get too hot. I suppose have been undone that. I suppose have did that shit earlier. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, one thing about your trees, ah, you got to keep them motherfuckers watered. And them motherfuckers, you know, they take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of water. And on this batch go round, you know, I also feed them every other day. And them motherfuckers is flourishing. You understand me? Um, so, anyway, I don't want to turn this into some other shit. But, uh, I ain't trying to kick nobody out. I know y'all Y'all like, well, damn, um, what's up with the kick out? I ain't kicking nobody out because, you know, it's an update. So motherfuckers might want to just sit in and see what's happening on me or, you know, what's going on or, you know, whatever. So, you know, Clyde, we ain't going to worry about the motherfuckers. Treadis, let these niggas roll. You know what I'm saying? Eugene, these niggas is all right. Let them kick it, you know? It's all good. This ain't for everybody. You know what I mean? This is just my dictation. This is how I talk. This is just my regular shit. I'm from Southern California, IA, and this is how we do this, you know? It's just, what can I say, you know? A lot of motherfuckers have a little problem with it, but, hey, you know, this is how we do. So, I mean, you can't, same thing for somebody from the Bronx or somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers from the ATL, they got their get down on how they do their thing, you know? So, this is, you know what I'm saying? I'm Compton born and bred, baby. This is how we do our thing. So, anyway, but, uh. Y'all, it's been so much shit going on. So much shit going on in the news. So much death. So much dying, man. And, it, you know, it just, it's a, it's a, it's a, it dampens my spirit. You know what I'm saying? It dampens my soul. Um, and it just kind of makes me retreat. It makes me hold my kids close. It makes me um, kind of retreat a little bit and kind of stay out the way when it's a whole bunch of shit be going on sometimes. You know, and so um, with that, that's what I've been, you know what I'm saying, one thing I've been doing is kind of, you know, kind of staying out the way and shit and on some shit because it's just a lot going on. Um, Shout out to my son, y'all. My son, they was hiring for another position inside of the post office and that nigga went and, and applied for the shit, right? I took him because he had to go test in Riverside. I didn't trust that nigga to go that far. You know what I mean? Now, he has been, a little update, he has been driving a little bit by himself. You know what I'm saying? Straight away shots, no freeway. He kind of getting his momentum up. You know what I'm saying? Getting his little thing together, which I need that. Because, see, I'm the nigga that been getting up getting that ass every morning. You know what I mean? One, two, three o'clock in the morning. It's been me, you know? And so, to finally get him out and driving and being able to go and do it as he shall please to do, that's my ultimate goal right now. So, you know, I'm a little on some paranoia type shit, but, you know, I'm mommy, you know, and that's how mommies do. You know, we be worried and shit, you know, and so that nigga didn't want to go nowhere but to get him a motherfucking burrito. And I gave that nigga the whole one sober. Okay, make sure you, uh, you know, watch the lights and watch this right here and four-way stop. I went through the whole get out. You know, I'm still mommy, you know, even though this nigga's 19. But anyway, he applied for this other position and, um, you know, he was like, Mom, I'm just going to apply. You know, I'm going to, you know, see what's happening. He applied. They sent him a little paperwork saying, okay, well, look, we need you to go take this test and this, and this, and this. Take that nigga to Riverside. He took the test. How about they contact that fool back and told him that uh, uh, this is what's happening. Come down now and go get your drug test and stuff. So um, I'm taking him today to go get his drug test and shit. But uh, I'm really trying to do that a little bit early because it's going to be, it's gonna be crazy hot, nigga, on some Somalia shit. I can't, I can't, I can't even do it, you know. But I got a little chicken shit ass air in my ride, so you know I'll be alright. But it's still gonna be hot to be moving about this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, 
um, I think I put me two waters in the freezer, and I like mine a little bit. You know, I kind of drink some of it out of it a little bit, so the near for it, it got a little about this much gone. Put it in the freezer, let that motherfucker ice up, and then I hit it on the concrete, bam, bam, bam. Man, look, it got these icicles in it. Oh, my God, it'd be so good. That's how I like mine, you know what I mean? I just I just like icicles and shit in there, crush ice inside of there, and that's how you get it, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know a lot of people be like, because like when I be on the phone and I be eating my ice, you know, drinking my water and eating my ice and shit, they be like, well, damn, what is that we hear? You know what I'm saying? Because, of course, with those icicles and ice and shit inside of there, it's like, how you gonna get that through the thing, through the little nozzle part, when you got ice and shit in there, how you still getting that ice? Well, when I'm hitting it on the concrete, waka, 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 you know what I'm saying? When, and so it's crushing up the ice. Then when I turn around and I do one of these ones right here, I got to bop, bop, bop. But the thing is, you got to move your teeth back because I ain't trying to fuck up my 57. You know what I mean? For those of you guys that don't know what the 57 is, that's, you know what I'm saying, between me and my boy, we call it the 57 and it's your grill. So I ain't trying to fuck up my 57, so I pull my teeth back and then I pull my, my lips a little bit forward. So then therefore, you know what I'm saying, when I'm bop, 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 it's just, you know what I'm saying, hitting my lips. But then you got these these little ice cubes just coming through the thing. Man, it's it's, it's an enjoyable thing. I like it. That's how I do mine. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all like, bitch, are you serious? Is this how you telling me how you drink your water? Yeah, this is how I do mine. People be tripping when I be out in the street. They be like, well, damn. You are violating the bottle like a mother. That's how I do mine. You know what I'm saying? That's how I like it. So I got me a couple of them in there getting ready to do what they need to do. Because about 12 o'clock, I'm going to be ready to bust one out. Now, right now, it's 1031. Wendy, come on at 11. So about, I'm going to pull him out about 12, something like that. I think he'd be about ready, you know. And I'm going to pull that out, and I'm going to have some ice ready to go. And I'm going to be waka, waka, waka. Yeah. Anyway, so, but, um, but yeah, y'all, so... <sighs> what else is what else is going on? The kids is cool. Kids is all out of school and everything. And you know Isaiah is doing a um, a, a football camp, and uh, you know, and so he's doing he's doing real good with that thing. Tiony's going to the twelfth grade, so you know this next year, so she's getting prepared and ready for that. Shout out to my cousin. Her two daughters graduated over the weekend. One graduated with her master's, and her other daughter graduated with her bachelor's. Now, check this out. Now, Lachine graduated with her bachelor's, right? She's the one that graduated with her bachelor's, and her other daughter gra graduated with her master's. Well, anyway, do you know Lachine had just had, had a baby? I, how old is that baby? I think that baby's about not even six months old, okay? She was in her ninth month going to school. Like it was a thing to do. She was like, look, check this out. I ain't trying to, you know, fuck my shit off. I'm trying to go head on and, you know, complete this thing. You know, I mean, I'm just so proud of them young ladies. And they had a, a, a graduation party on Saturday. I kind of hate that I missed it, you know. But, you know, I was on some other shit and I was, you know what I'm saying, I was doing me. But I, I kind of hate that, you know, I didn't go to the little graduation shindig. I see on, on Facebook all my little cousins and shit was there and the niggas was barbecuing and blowing, you know what I mean? And it was one of them and I kind of hate that I missed it and everything, but such is life, you know. Um, but uh, y'all already know Miss Tina's uh, cousin, Tina. It, it, you know, ain't got nothing but congratulations and all that old type of shit, and you know, which I had already stated to y'all. But Lashne, I'm just, I'm just overjoyed and just blown away, cause you was like, fuck that, I'm not giving up. And even like when she at first met this nigga, you know, she was like, you know, everybody was like, okay, she gonna kind of fall off a little bit, you know. But she was like, no, nah, hell no, nah. shit, nigga, I'm all in. You know what I'm saying? She wouldn't got the gastric sleeve and all, all this while she was in the be, the uh, the uh, her, her her bachelor program, and none of that shit fucked her off. She was like, you know what? Look, check this out. I'm trying to get focused because after I get this degree right here, then therefore I'm gonna look like I want to, and uh, and I'm gonna do because I ain't got a, every listen. All of my relatives, everybody already know because they come to me when it come down to you know cosmetic. Excuse me, cosmetic surgery and surgeries and things of that nature. They know I'm one of them guinea pig motherfuckers that'll try some shit. So they was like, well, Tina, what you think? You think I should... Hey, look. 
Cousin Tina said, go ahead on and do it. You ain't got no motherfucking babies. You in college. You know what I'm saying? And you want to do your thing a certain type of way. You want to live a certain type of way. Then check this out. Go ahead on and get this right here. You know, even though she was in school and she wanted to get her little, you know, gas or sleep and shit. And I was like, okay, go ahead on and do that while you're on your little break. Then, therefore, get back into the business. Because when you get me and your mama's age, you know, you want to have some shit to sh not only show for your money, but you also want to get to a point where you can actually kick it in life. You know? And she was like, you know what, cousin? You know, I ain't going to give up. Even though she had, you know, met that new little nigga and everything. And everybody was in the uproar like, oh, my God, she bought the fuck up. You know? Because, you know, she had had a, you know, a, a weight issue for so long, and then, but very beautiful, I mean, beautiful, 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 beautiful young lady. And say, so, you know, it was like, you know, her, you know, got with this guy and was like, okay, well, you know, the motherfucker was, you know, he was putting it in her head and shit. So we was like, okay, just don't fuck up with school. You already know what you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? I understand this nigga. He pussing all that. Don't let this nigga fuck you up from your final destination. Fuck all that shit. Enjoy that shit, but stay on this American history and all this other bullshit, this econ and all this shit you got to do. Enjoy that, but still work on that. So we was in that head, baby. This whole motherfucking four years, we was in that head. And she was like, okay, well, look, now what? Now what I need to do? Cause, okay, now you get ready to go get this gastric sleeve. And therefore, you're going to do it like this. And me and her mama both, you know what I'm saying? And see, her mama, is, you know, also a nurse. So, she already, already winning, you know what I'm saying? So, and to see this baby, actually, she put it out there. She prayed on it. And even in the midst of having a baby and all that new nigga and all that, she still graduated on time, not a semester behind, with her bachelor's degree. So, I'm just ecstatic. I'm stoked. Baby, it's... Just much love to you. I mean, you did that. You know what I'm saying? You did that. You stayed focused. You well on your motherfucking way. When you get to me and your mama motherfucking age and your baby is going to be, you know what I'm saying, on some grown shit, you're going to be sitting up how we be kicking it and how we do our thing, you're going to be doing that same motherfucking thing because we're going to stay in your head. Okay, and I'm going I'm to give you the tools that you need throughout your path. I'm carrying the light like a motherfucker. Okay, come on, we're going this way. Okay, yeah, enjoy that for a minute. Get the fruits of all that right there. But come on, bitch, let's go. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep pushing because you got shit to do. You know, and for a lot of you young ladies, that's 10, 20 years younger than me. You know what I'm saying? I'll be 45 September 10th, holiday. You know what I mean? I done been through a whole bunch of shit, but to get to this point right here, hell yeah, nigga, don't get mad at me because I'm on some chill shit. Don't get mad at me because, you know, I made some decisions in my life to get me to this motherfucking point to be able to chill and kick it. How you gonna get mad at that motherfucking shit? You can't fuck my self-esteem up. Check this out. Over the weekend, so, you know, I had posted the thing, you know what I'm saying, going to the car show. Anaheim had a car show. DJ Quick Nim you know, perform, you know, it was really, really nice, like a dub, like a dub car show or whatever, so I come on this motherfucker, you know, and talk about it or whatever, y'all, listen, I liked my little outfit, mind you, the belt was a little high, you know, a bitch gotta get her rhythm, you know what I'm saying, I got the, I'm, I'm having issues with where my natural waist is, if that makes sense. When, it's a trip on how when you lose the weight, you got to get your bearings a little bit on where your body is at. Because still, see me, I still think my ag is bagging and dragging. You know what I'm saying? I still feel, I still feel like I'm so heavy, even though I'm not. And it's, I know that it's mental. Um, I find myself still, you know, adjusting and pulling, pulling and tugging and, you know, checking to see if there's a roll or two that's exposed. You know what I'm saying? I still find myself doing those things. And so, yeah, I had my belt a little high or whatever. But you know what it is? What it is. Hey, I don't have no, I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a, uh, not to say that uh, those girls that had those type of bodies that they in that type of line of work. But, you know, I'm not no dancer or nothing like that. I'm a mama. I'm 45 months.